search continues in Colombia to close the loophole some law enforcement officials say allowed convicted Charleston church shooter Dylan Roof to buy the gun he used the night of the shooting. Two state senators, including one from Charleston, will talk about the bill today. This is Annie Taylor is following the story from the Alert Center this morning. Good morning, Annie. Good morning, Octavia. The Senate Special Gun Issue Study Committee heard testimony from hundreds of South Carolinians last year about firearms in the Palmetto State. So today, Charleston Senator Marlon Kempson, along with State Senator Greg Gregory, will talk about two measures in a bill to tighten the Charleston loophole. The first will require all courts report each case to SLED within 10 days. They also must report any orders preventing someone from owning a firearm and other conditions. Within a 48-hour period, now Senator Kempson has been working on this bill for nearly two years. He told us in December the goal is to expand the background check period from three days to five. Will it solve all of our gun homicides? No. But if you look at the evidence of states, and there are 18, by the way, who have passed common sense expanded background checks, the answer is yes, their communities are safe. Now, the third part of the bill establishes the Judicial Criminal Technology Committee. It would review law enforcement's current technology and reporting methods. Senators Kempson and Gregory will speak about their bill at 11 o'clock this morning in Columbia. In the Alert Center this morning, I'm Annie Taylor for News 2.